Hello, today we will talk about periodic license confirmation. It's a tool to control access to protected files after serial number activation. And first we will look at the products uh, which uh, support this feature. As you can see, the list is very wide and here we can talk about uh, protection of documents, audio video files, uh, software application, uh, script and other things. And the main idea of these products uh, use serial numbers uh, for activation, access and uh, uh, PC binding for copy protection. So let's uh, look uh, how it works. Uh, protected files from time to time connect uh, with a, a license management server. If everything is okay, uh, protected files continue working. Uh, but if uh, the publisher has revoked uh, access after verification, uh, protected files stop working. Uh, and why we need it? Why this feature is uh, used? Uh, as you could understand from the um, last slide, uh, it is used for license verification. Uh, and uh, changing the parameters of license. And in what situation it can be needed? Uh, first of all, to prevent cheating. In our own system, we use it um, for our Asprotect uh, product line. Uh, we sell it via internet and uh, people uh, purchase it uh, via a different payment system. And after activation, they ask for refund. And the system uh, pays money back, uh, and uh, these dishonest people continue working with our products without paying. And it makes us crazy, and that is why we use a feature, uh, this feature, periodic license confirmation. And after 30 days, um, our product uh, stop, stops working. Uh, and um, as well, for example, you uh, prefer post payment or you have some um, deal with your customers and if your customer breaks this deal, you always can um, revoke access to your protected uh, products after serial number activation. Uh, also, we recommend to use this feature in corporate segment uh, because people now often work at home and uh, company has it intellectual property, documents or software and if uh, an employee leaves a company uh, you can change uh, the parameters of serial number and uh, when he leaves a company uh, these protected files uh, stop working. It's very convenient. Uh, and uh, so we have two, uh, 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 two types of verification. Uh, one is standard and the other is silent. Uh, by default, uh, standard verification is um, switched on. Uh, and if you need silent verification, please contact uh, our uh, support team. Uh, they can switch it on for the project or for um, uh, different uh, protections. And now we are going to move to our practical part. We will generate a serial number. We will look at standard and silent verifications. We will look at an um, activation uh, report. And after it, we uh, will edit our serial number and add it to the blacklist. Uh, so, practical part. I'm going to proactive interface. We are going to start with a serial number generation. That is why I select this, um, uh, this menu. I recommend to use release serial number from this an experiment. Uh, because if we have any time limitations, uh, you can't uh, change your time so easily. I need one serial number and uh, three activations. 
we can edit this parameter uh, afterwards if we need. So now we need to select periodic license confirmation. Uh, here it is, it is the last in the list. Uh, I um, uh, select five days. Usually um, our um, publishers who sell books uh, and other electronic documents, they select something like that, five, seven days uh, for uh, software applications. Uh, we recommend uh, to uh, select um, uh, 30 days or something about it. Please um, uh, consider what variant is better for you and your clients. So apply and return and we will generate our serial number. Here it is. We will work with this serial number. I have um, prepared two variants uh, with a standard verification and silent verification. We are going to start with a standard verification because it is uh, switched uh, on by default. So we have calculator here and our standard window with activation. I insert our serial number. We have two uh, activations left. OK. And here is our calculator. And we are going to start our time traveling. Uh, first we We'll go forward five days. OK. So now our protected files need uh, to connect with uh, uh, the license management server. Uh, we allow to do it. Next. And you can see that everything is OK. And um, uh, these uh, windows are shown uh, during standard verification. And now we need to go back. Let's go back in time. OK. Uh, I'll try to run this application. And you can see here an error. Uh, and uh, it works our mechanism against uh, time changing. If you have any time limitations uh, on your serial number, uh, you can't change uh, time back, at least on your computers, on users, of course, computers. Uh, and if it happens, uh, your activation is broken and you need to remove it. Now we can continue and we, uh, we will uh, look at silent verification. Again, our calculator and our serial number. Continue. OK, one activation is left. Uh, and uh, let's go back to the future. OK, so I run calculator and you can see nothing uh, happens uh, because uh, this uh, verification is silent. But you can say, aha, maybe you're cheating uh, and, we can, and we can prove we, that we are not. Uh, I'm going to uh, block internet connection for this application. And again, we move uh, time to the future. Oh. OK. And uh, Activation is required. Enter your serial number. Click Next. Automatic activation failed. If you have no internet connection, you can perform activation as the means. OK. So if we uh, do not have uh, internet, 
of course you can see that uh, there are some windows and uh, now let's leave internet and try again As you can see, everything works perfectly. Okay, so here it is. Now we are going to look at reports. Uh, activation report. So we are back in our proactive interface. I selected serial number activations. Here is our serial number. Takes, it takes some time to generate it. We have a very large database, millions of activations. That is why sometimes it takes some time. But I hope not too long. Okay, uh, let's let's go time. Let's go back. Um, delete our serial number. Okay, here it is. You can see two of three activations and uh, the parameters of our uh, serial number and uh, another report. We had two activations and if you remember we had three verifications. So one with a standard verification and two with silent verification. And here you can see five with dates and information. Uh, so here you can uh, see uh, the statistics about verifications. Uh, and now we are going to edit our serial number. Aha, uh -huh. so we can add one activation, for example. We can modify time parameters. For example, I can add time limitation. So it means that after activation, serial number. Uh, will work for 40 days. I click Submit and here I can see what parameters uh, have been changed. And um, we are going to continue our traveling. Let's go back to standard um, verification. Our serial number the same and you can see that now we have a um, time limitation okay so here it is and uh, the last thing we are going to do today is uh, to add our serial number to the blacklist here it is I added submit now we are going to go back to the future in five days. Okay, okay. 
and uh, calculator. So we have seen it already. Uh, files uh, want to have verification next. And you can see activation denied by server. This serial number is blacklisted. So how it works? If you ha have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We have online chat uh, on our site. And please um, uh, ask your questions uh, uh, and uh, write to our support team. We will always be glad to, to help you. Uh, have a nice day uh, and thank you for your time.